Hey there, Sagittarius. It's Darling D. Tarot bringing you your monthly reading for the month of November 2018. So we just have basically some energies for what's going on, what you're going to be feeling or experiencing. Also, just um, this main section here is going to be the basics of what's going on, followed by this card is going to be the outcome of your November. And then these two cards are going to be um, you going into December, how you're feeling, what's going on, that sort of a thing. Um, so let's get started. Right off the bat into this, you have two animal oracle cards. Um, usually I only draw one, but um, this penguin kept kept popping out, kept just throwing itself out. And I was like, okay, so I think that it belongs here. <laughs> so we have shark. It says, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. And we also have penguin. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing now is passing. Now, this makes me think, you know, traditionally I see, I'm going to just go a little bit around you know, up here before I go too in depth. But the five of pentacles generally for me represents, you know, money struggles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like, um, feeling like everyone is getting ahead, you know, but, but you aren't like you're lagging almost like, um, you know, you really, really lack what everyone else has in a sense. Um, this card in this deck is very different from the traditional Five of Pentacles that you would see in your traditional tarot deck. Um, you know, because this man is taking the time to wash this woman's feet, regardless of her history, of her, um, you know, of her past, of any circumstances, any kind of anything. He knows that she's had a tough day. He knows that um, she doesn't have the life that he has you know but he's basically showing her that little bit of kindness you know what I mean and that little bit of humanity in the world he's not completely leaving her out in the cold he's being generous he's offering to her um you know some form of assistance you know it might not be much but just that small gesture is enough for this woman you know what I mean like and she's looking away she's almost embarrassed she's embarrassed that she has to accept help from this man but sometimes we need to accept help sometimes help is the best thing that we can possibly um be looking for or whatever you know it's not an embarrassing thing to um to ask for especially when you're going through major changes if you find yourself moving if you find yourself going through any kind of um large life change sagittarius make sure to reach out to the people you love for help you know they won't mind helping you you know it might not be a, a lot it might not be some grand gesture but it will be enough and it'll be um something beautiful something um you know that will really help you and uplift you even if it's just something like a smile a hug something you know um but definitely reach out to people ask them say hey you know um you know if you're feeling short on money say hey you know i'm a little low and maybe they'll chip in five dollars ten dollars you know whatever but you know it's it's also just the thought that counts that they're going to stand with you and find a way for you to make for them them to help you make the money as well <laughs> um but yeah definitely it's a beautiful card in this deck the five of pentacles um it's about not leaving people out in the cold um so which also brings me into the card show justice which is number 14 um show justice is a really interesting card i actually want to read it for you out of the booklet it is an angel inspiration deck card um and obviously if we have one and four that is going to be five so we have two fives um which is very interesting it makes me think that you sagittarius are going through a major life change or are experiencing some form of change now change can be a little uncomfortable and change can be um a little bit scary but if we trust ourselves and we trust our instincts to get us through this tough time or this tough period there really is no going wrong you know what I mean? Like, um, you may think that because of a hard time in the past that it's always going to be this way, but it's not. You know, justice is really going to be served. You know, 
justice traditionally when we see it you know justice being served you're getting what you deserve you know if you've been a generally good person if you've been very generous to other people if you've helped people who have um you know less than you or haven't really um been too biased on where people are in life or whatever may be you know you're going to get that back tenfold um if you're a good person, the universe notices. It takes notice. It listens. Um, you know, definitely just just be aware. Okay, so for show justice, it says, The ability to make correct choices and decisions and determining these in others does not come from judging, but by being just in your evaluation of others. Let me get it in the frame. It means checking your own responses and considering all sides of the situations before taking a stand. The ability to judge fairly must be applied to everyone, not with the intention of being right or superior, nor with the need to control or dictate, but from an accurate assessment of the situation. Releasing the need to make judgment opens you to a more accurate and empathetic understanding of situations and people. Try taking the time to appreciate where a person is coming from and what their story is. It will aid you in being less judgmental and more just in your interactions. Um, so this is also, I feel like, pertaining to you too. Don't judge yourself so much based on the past. You know, if you find yourself that you've had struggles with money in the past, this is really going to come to the, to an end. Really understand how you've gotten there. Understand how where people are too, though. Um, we have judgment show up twice. We have judgment show up as the overall outcome of November, and we also have you know obviously show justice and it makes me think that you know you really have to um understand that everyone has a reason behind what they do and if things don't really happen the way that we want them to or pan out the way that we think they should you know we can't be the ones to say hey that was a wrong decision say um you put in for a great job and your friend puts in for the same job and your friend gets the job but you don't get the job um you know you could say hey that's a bad judgment call but you know maybe your friend gave a different quality to the job than you would have maybe um you know they saw something else you really don't know you know it could also be maybe someone has done something to you in your life um a little shady maybe someone has backstabbed you and um you know know that everyone in life has a reason for what they do and at the end of the day everything gets brought around full circle you know what i mean the um wheels of justice turn slow but grind exceedingly fine and that is um basically what I feel. Um, judgment for me basically just feels very, very close to this card because it's, you know, I feel like the overall the month of November 2018 for you, Sagittarius, is going to be figuring out what battles are going to be worth fighting for um, to determine what is just, what is right, what is a good um, situation for your life. Um, and that's why I relate it so much to show justice. It isn't justice, but it's judgment. And it's very much... Um, Judgment feels very divine to me. You know, in traditional tarot, you see um, an angel basically calling down from the heavens like a wake-up call with a horn. And here you see them going into battle ready to create the better future that they want, the better future that they deserve, the better future that their children, and their children's children, and their children's 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 children's, children's deserve, um, you know, and so on and so forth. You know, there's a lot of sacrifices that have to be made. See that man in the back he's he's dead <laughs> that's the best way to put it um you know there obviously are sacrifices to be made in the month of november to be happy um but they won't be that bad if you can truly understand that everything happens for a reason um know that everything happens in the way that it's supposed to and justly you know what i mean they say that life isn't fair but um in a way it, karma always comes around it 
it's just, you know, if you believe in that, it will always come around. Um, so let's get into your main reading before I continue um, rambling. Um, so we have, for the first main three cards, we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the, oops, I dropped it. Okay. And the Ten of Swords. So right off the bat, I'm feeling like um, some Sagittarius, there's two messages here. I feel like for some Sagittarius, if you're dealing with um, love, um, any kind of love endeavors, I feel like this might be with someone who could also potentially be a fire sign, um, could be another Sagittarius or a Leo or an Aries. Um, does not have to be. This could also represent you. Um, but in that, I, f I feel like maybe you're facing some struggle in, in terms of, of love. Um, you could be feeling that someone really, um, stabbed you in the back or really played you on, really led you on. Um, it could be that this person was someone who was very passionate and, but passion was pretty much the only thing that they could offer. Um, they couldn't offer anything stable because it was too much to balance. It was too much to struggle in their lives. Um, and this could also be you. It could be that you wanted to give more into a relationship, but it just didn't work because it was just too much, too much work. Um, you know, if you're constantly struggling, it's really, really hard to find that balance. Um, but, okay, so I'm just going to continue into this, and then I'll, and then I'll, I'll ramble. <laughs> um, also, this, this section I was a little confused about, well, not confused, but I wanted more clarification, so I ended up pulling a third card, um, because it's a little darker over here on this energy, Sagittarius, not going to lie. And, sorry, I just, I looked at my phone, and I was like, <gasps> Was I not recording this whole time? <laughs> I got really bummed. Okay, I felt like this. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for those in love, and then, okay, I'm going to put a timestamp at the bottom for those that um, aren't, it isn't love related or whatever, but you can watch this whole thing. It doesn't matter. Um so yeah, so for November, you might feel like this person is really tying you up, but they have no plans on doing anything with you. Um, you feel like you're being tied up in a very, um, you know, passionate relationship, passionate affair, but this is something that um, is basically just going to leave you hanging or leave you um, suspended in time, um, you know, and really all these cards here it's kind of like keeping yourself stuck i mean she can you know get her hands out at any time grab those swords and cut herself free but she doesn't um you know it's also a mental prison it's also saying to to herself do i deserve to be here do i deserve this punishment do i deserve to be naked sitting on this block tied up with all these swords around me you know, am I deserving of that? You know, and in a way, I think that she thinks that she deserves to be there. She thinks that that's her justice. She thinks that, you know, hardship is normal. Hardship is just the thing that happens. Um, you know, but it's not. There could be a lot of mourning over this. You know, if this ended, if this was something that, you know, just was a complete defeat it just ended it was abrupt it was a shock it was but it hurt oh my gosh you know it felt like a death you know if this was a relationship it was literally it felt like a death um you know and it could be that this happened a while ago and that you're still dwelling on this it could be that you're keeping yourself mentally blocked you're keeping yourself um mentally imprisoned basically um you know, which, which really, really stinks. Definitely try to find more balance in your life to help go through this. Um, you know, and it could be why it said the darkest time of your life is over. The dark period of your life is over. Um, because you're coming out of all this. I don't think that, um, these energies are going to last forever. This also could be reminiscing. I think that this is also reminiscing on past relationships or past situations. Um, that have not worked out to um, the fullest extent or how you would want them to work out. Um, but yeah, use your intuition here because you're not, you know, with this in reverse, it's really saying that you're not using your intuition. You're not really understanding that this didn't work out because this wasn't for you, Sagittarius. 
you know what I mean? Like, this was not for you. Um, you know, use your intuition more, you know, understand that um, it's a good thing sometimes for things and relationships to not work out because we will find ourselves in worse situations if we keep ourselves stuck, if we keep ourselves um, hanging and and really, um, you know, waiting around for someone and letting ourselves be stuck on this person who kind of just lets us lets us sit around and mourn. You know, I mean, there's not really anyone else other than being tied up. The, you know, you're kind of all alone just here mourning and being sad, Sagittarius. I don't really see anyone coming to rescue you um, in that sense. For a general, this is also, um, this could be a pursuit that you're very passionate about. This could be a new idea, a new creative endeavor. Um, this could be you scouting out somewhere or something that you want. You know, you're going towards it. You want it. You want to go after this new um, opportunity, um, and this is going to be something that's really going to tie up a lot of your time in the month of November. This is something that's going to occupy your thoughts. That's going to occupy every moment you have, with wh whether you're awake, you're asleep. It's really going to weigh on your mind. Um, what I'm being drawn to say is that if something does not work out the way that you want it to, like exactly the way that you want it to, like you say, hey, I'm going to have a purple house with five dogs, but they're all going to be corgis, and I'm also going to own three owls, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're only going to own one corgi, and then you're going to have two chihuahuas you know what i mean like it's going to be something that serves you but it's it might not be exactly that dream you understand what i'm saying sagittarius it's going to be something better something that doesn't make you feel so drained something that doesn't make you feel so anxious and upset um but really try to find that balance try to find um you know solid ground try to ground yourself try to be one with the earth um you know for the time being you know and when I say that, really imagine roots growing out of your feet, you know, and into the earth and just becoming one. You know, you will feel so much more centered and so much out of these thoughts, out of these dark feelings. But definitely use your intuition here, um, you know, and know, know what to fight for. Know what it is that's really going to serve you and that's really going to be good for you in the long haul. You know, we want to... When things are a little dark, when, when times are a little tough, we want to rely on the torch to guide our way. And this torch represents our intuition, our gut, our um, feelings, everything like that that can literally guide the way when times are a little shaky. Um, dive into that more and don't keep yourself confined to such... Um, I'm trying to think of the word draining, I guess, would be the best word to say. Don't keep yourself so drained on these thoughts. I feel like, um, you know, when you have a moment alone to your thoughts, it might be even more draining than when you're up and actually doing things, when you're busy, when you're um, working. Um, take the time to really understand that everything in this life is... Um, you know, either a lesson or it's, you know, it's, here, it's either here to stay or it's a lesson. And that's for relationships, that's for situations, that's for jobs, that's for any sort of thing. Um, you know, sometimes in life, we find ourselves wanting a situation to work, but we end up somewhere completely different. And at the end of the day, when we really stop and think, we can say, yeah, I never thought that I would be in this situation in my life. This was not my plan. Um, you know, and we can be really sad about it or, you know, we can really start looking at it from a different point of view and thinking, hey, you know, um, for others, I also feel like um, I'm just picking up on this now, but I think that when 
if you're feeling backstabbed by someone or something or a situation, um, I feel like you're coming out of a situation that was full of deceit as well. Um, so don't mourn too much over situations, like I said, that don't serve you because it could be that you're in a situation that's completely wrong, that's full of deceit, that's full of lies, that's full of secrets. Um, you know, the moon is all about secrets. Um, the things that happen in the night that no one can see but the moon, um, you know, and the wolves. That's kind of the theme here. Um, so definitely, you know, understand what's worth your time and what's worth your mental um, anxieties, I guess. Your, you know, your mental, um, where you put your energy, let me say. Um, where you dedicate parts of your mind to that is what you will bring into your life start bringing more balance focus more on the things that bring you um that make you feel very passionate that make you feel very good that make you feel in that zone you know embrace that fiery energy that you have sagittarius you know let's let's really get into that energy this um november and and really um you know, overcome this month and overcome any obstacles that we might face um, and really be open. Go into um, the rest of November with an open mind and an open heart. Um, you know, be open to anything that might happen. So for going into um, December, um, we have the six of wands and we also have the nine of pentacles now these are incredible cards so the six of wands is basically talking about victory um and then the nine of pentacles is wishes fulfilled um so honestly you're going to be going into december feeling very successful feeling very um confident in who you are confident in what you have confident in what you have um created for yourself um, do you see how joyous he looks with his bouquet of flowers that he has gotten together? You know, um, no doubt that has taken quite a long time to find the perfect flowers and to, um, cut them off just right and to get them all together and then to go back, um, to his home village or town or whatever, you know, with that with and that's the whole point of november is you are going to be going back home you know or whatever not literally but it, it could be hey you know but you're going to be feeling very very good you're going to be feeling like you're bringing in the bacon basically um you know what i mean you're going to be feeling like you're bringing in um so much now you're so successful you have so much at the palm of your fingertips um at the palm of your finger at, uh, <laughs> at the in the palm of your hands and at the tip of your fingertips there you go um but it's going to make you feel very fulfilled it's going to be making you feel very happy you know very joyous very um fun um enjoy this energy definitely enjoy december as well you know we will get into that obviously next month um but this has been your reading for november definitely keep an open mind and know that the worst is over um take a deep breath you know and pat yourself on the back Sagittarius this hasn't been easy this hasn't been an easy month this hasn't been easy circumstance but you've really done it and you've really accomplished so much um and I am so proud of you um keep smiling keep breathing of course this is just a general reading and i do personal readings on my etsy page for those that are interested um yeah, you can go to my Etsy page that is also Darling D Tarot. Um, and I have a whole bunch of different readings. I have um, generals. I have your next year readings. I have um, all kinds of different stuff that um, would really be worth your while to check out if you're interested in a reading with me. Um, and yeah, I hope that you have a great rest of your month and I will see you in December, Sagittarius. Okay, bye.